Hello there, Leo. Well, this is your May 2023 bonus reading. Let's see what's going on for you. What is going on for Leo? Let's see. We have Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Someone's coming in with an offer for you. Could be a job, a business offer. Oh, we do have two hearts here, though. This could be a love offer. Someone that's thinking of maybe bring you a gift or something. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but it could be anyone. Crossing you, we have... Okay, there might have been an ending with this person. They're trying to come back around. Or maybe they had to end something to come towards you. But there's some kind of ending involved here. Painful ending. Okay, so now we have general energy with you is you're moving on from something. You're moving on to something better. You're moving away from what in something that you weren't happy with. So you're being guided to move to something else. Or maybe someone's being guided to move to you. Okay, so now the past energy... We had a magician. You manifested something or someone manifested something here. There was having the power to manifest something here. Uh, for me, the magician is Aries and um, Aquarius energy. Okay, so let's see. What's coming in in the very near future? The hermit. You might be either you have, you're dealing with a Virgo or you're dealing with someone that is in hermit mode. Or there might be... You might be coming into hermit mode. You might be saying, okay, I need some time alone. I need some time to think. Maybe you might be taking off to your being by yourself or doing something, um, reflecting. This could also be um, healing, going deep within, finding answers. Okay. We have come to, oh, things are going to start moving quickly here for you, too. We have the Eight of Wands. Things are going to take off. Could be communication. Could be offers. Could be anything something happened really quick here life is about to take a fast turn okay outside influences the wheel of fortune divine timing destiny i love it and people see you as happiness ten of cups a nice happy home family life that's what they they're seeing you as maybe someone wants to be in a commitment with you or fa um security home security and then we have here hopes and fears here you're waiting for something. You're either hoping something's coming in or you're fearing something's coming in. But this is the wait card. Okay, so now, possible outcome. We have temperance, Sagittarius energy. We have the three of swords. And we have the high priestess. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Someone is stressing, can't sleep, has a lot of anxiety, maybe depression. Okay, there might be over this pain here that's coming in. That, a possibility of this pain coming in. Someone might be wanting to heal this, try, trying to heal something that happened here. And it might be, okay, the temperance is Sagittarius. The high priest is Virgo, Cancer energy. So someone, hmm, might be, maybe it's your energy or someone else trying to heal some kind of pain, some kind of heartache here. Or someone might cause some pain or heartache. This could be a third-party situation in a relationship, but doesn't have to be a cheating situation. It could be anything outside of the connection. Whether someone's had addiction, was always working. Um, it could be friends, family, uh, a long-distance relationship. That would have been something that could have um, caused a breakup. Okay, let's see here. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Let's see, what's going on with this Page of Pentacles? We have here the Ten of Pentacles. This Page of Pentacles is either bringing an offer of commitment or it could be a very lucrative financial situation here. Wow. Okay, what about this um, Ten of Swords? We have three Ten... Wait, we have all Tens, don't we? We have the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. You have all ten. So you're definitely ending things to start something new. There's a new phase coming in for you. Okay, let's see. This is, yeah, someone wanted commitment. So someone might have ended a commitment, a marriage, a relationship here. It was very painful. What about the Six of Swords? Why is the Six of Swords here? Okay, someone's moving away from burden. So this uh, ten of wands moving away from burden. Did I have ten of wands already? No, I didn't. So how did I figure that? Okay, so 
Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. Oh, that's right. The Ten of Cups. Plus the, okay, now we have all the, the Tens, plus the Wheel of Fortune. So the Ten in the regular minor, and now this is the major. Okay, gotcha. All right, I don't know how I did that. Okay, so, yeah, so someone is finding a way to move away from all these burdens, moving on from too much stress and too much, too much responsibility, overworking maybe. Okay, what about the magician? Someone was trying to balance something out in the past. Um, this was maybe making a choice. This is multitasking, adapting to something here. So someone might have used their, you know, magician, magician, magicians, <laughs> magician um, abilities to make something work here. Okay. Now, um, what about this hermit card? Why is a hermit card here? Why is a hermit card here? Judgment. Someone is going deep within to try to figure things out, to try to figure out how to make something work or how to change something or something. That's what's coming in here. There's something coming back around. But first, someone's going deep to heal to figure out how to make this work. Okay, what about the Eight of Wands? Why is the Eight of Wands here? Why is the Eight of Wands here? The Page of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Okay, the Page of Swords. We have here... We have a camel. This is endurance. When I see the camel, this is someone that can endure. Yeah, I mean, the camels go, can go through the desert without, you know, water. They have their reserve there. So this is someone that can endure here. So now we have someone coming in that wants to, that been maybe spying on you and wants to speak. They feel like this is a connection that can that can last. This is something that they want to talk to you about. So someone could have been watching you, spying on you. Uh, spy guy, spy girl here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini doesn't have to be. Let me get a page of swords here. This could also be you learning. Oh, how did I do that? You learning something new um, with the page of swords. And it's taken off. It's going all different directions. But there's definitely communication coming in. Okay, well, strong communication. Now, what about the Wheel of Fortune for your outside influence? This is fate. Fate is guiding you to something here. Strength. Leo energy. Could have a Leo coming in or a Leo wants to talk to you. But faith is that um, you are going to have the strength to, to endure whatever you need to endure. You have the camel there. You have the, the strength card here. Okay, what about this Ten of Cups? What about this Ten of Cups? We have the Queen of Cups. Okay, so people see you as very loving, nurturing, caring, very intuitive. And we have here a zombie. Ooh. Maybe something being revised, something coming back that was long gone, dead. So someone might be wanting to do that. Or they might be seeing you change. Maybe you went through a, a, a very strong transformation and you're coming back to life. Whatever this means, whichever way this works for you. Okay, what about the three of wands for your hopes or fears? What's that all about? We have here. This is, which is this? This is, the, oh, the five of wands. Okay, so this might be arguments. It might be competition. And, um, yeah, there could, could be some kind of struggle here. But maybe you've been waiting for this or... You know, this is your hopes for maybe you don't want to fight with someone or or maybe this competition. Maybe you even, I don't know, some people like competition. Okay, take it, you know, maybe it's not for you too. Take it only if it resonates. What about the temperance card coming in? What is that? Let's see. We have here the Ten of Swords. Boy, you have a lot of endings for new beginnings. So after the ending here, someone is able to get their life back together and balance things out. Um has patience okay but what about this three of swords what's that all about or it could be someone's coming to the end of their patience too that could be for someone too they're probably losing patience with something maybe uh, someone um doing something here what about this three of swords oh this was hidden whatever this was this third party this it's situation this was hidden we have the moon card here pisces energy so maybe that's why some maybe you're coming to the end of your patience. But they say, I don't care. I, I had enough with this. Okay, what about this 
because we have two cards of being something secrets hidden high priestess high priestess knows things this is your energy you you're aware of something or something's coming to light here but these are secrets these are something that's hidden okay the high priestess let's see i'm trying to make a decision now what to do and we have the magician again you're going to manifest something here you're definitely going to take things matters in your own hand manifest you just need to make a decision here on how to do this i think um you're realizing something here and you're going to have to decide what to do okay now let's see what else we get for you guys what else do we have for you guys what else what else We have, ooh, we got the Three of Swords again. And trying to balance things out, trying to make things work it out. Look at this. We got repeaters here. So this is very important. There's some kind of competition or some, there's, it might have been someone that came, <coughs> maybe someone came in and caused this. It doesn't have to be one person. It could be many people that caused some kind of conflict with you, maybe in a connection or something. Um, and you had to make a choice here. You had, you're trying to balance things out. Let's see what else we have. Yeah, look at the sneaky energy. Wow. Someone's sneaking around, but they get caught. They're under the moonlight. They're dropping clues. Here's the magician. <coughs> My God. Every deck has a magician here. Okay. You are, you are definitely a manifester. And you are realizing what someone is trying to do here. You, I think this came to light. And you're going for the love here. You're bringing love into a situation here. Somehow you're bringing this love into the situation. I don't know. Someone is trying to do something. Let's see. Okay. We have the Knight of Cups. The Four of Wands. And we got the Spy Guy again. Wow. And we have the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. So... With the Knight of Cups here, um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Energy. Someone's coming in here with a love offer. They want commitment. They might be the one spying on you. You could also be trying something new here. I almost feel like this doesn't feel like a spy guy over here. It feels more like you're you're learning something new. There's a bunch of ideas coming up. You're getting communication from spirit. You're researching something. You're And you're taking a leap of faith. Look at you on walking across this cliff here on a sword. It's like... You have no fear. You are focused on something. I feel like someone's coming in here with a love offer for you, but you are so focused on learning something new. There's something you put in a lot of time and effort to as far as your work. You might be doing a new career, a new job. You might be manifesting something brand new, a new business. Looks good. All right, guys. But there is, I don't know, I think you're putting an end to someone, um, Someone's sneakiness or someone trying to do something here. That's with the five of wands coming up. It's like other people getting in your business. You're putting an end to that. Whatever that may be. I feel like someone is trying to be sneaky and trying to find out what you're up to. But because you are able to manifest things, someone's like, how, how is Leo doing that? I want to know how Leo is doing that. Of course, over here, we have your card here, Leo, for the Wheel of Fortune. So this is like outside influence is that you're able to achieve things. I feel like... You know, the luck is coming to you because you're able, you're putting the time and effort into it, too. It's not like just luck. Things are working in your favor. It looks really good. Okay, now let's see. Let's get the word. I'm going to start with this Knight of Cups. Let's just scoop on this Knight of Cups. Let's just scoop on the Knight of Cups. Let's see. We have admitted, love, confused. Okay, someone might admit that they were confused about their love for you, but now they're not. They might be coming forward here. What about this page of pentacles? We have mature, alone, love. Okay. I think someone wants to talk to you alone to tell you how they, they feel about you. They have matured. It almost feels like someone's growing up here. We have admitted, confused, and now we have mature love. What about this page of swords? Because we have a knight and two pages, and then we have the queen. Okay, so we have here... Expose, serious, love. Oh my gosh. Yeah, some people are coming out about their love for you. And we have a Queen of Cups, which is your energy. Let's see. We have K 
keeps the money lover okay some lover is denying that maybe they kept the money or someone's lover is denying something they're telling you to keep the money let me get a clarifier on the money one and we have here money from the bank that is money from the bank so whatever that means to you if it's for you it might be for you it might not be for you Someone might try to keep money from the bank or someone's account or bank account or someone's telling you just keep the money. This is maybe this is a relationship that ended here and um, someone's telling you just keep the money. Might be. Only take if it resonates. Leave if it doesn't. Okay, so now let's see. I'm going to move this over here, I think, so I can work over here. And let's see what signs you can be dealing with. What's the signs here for Leo? What are the signs, please? <clears throat> Gemini, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aries, and Aquarius. Okay, so this could be placement in your chart, placement in other people's chart, past, present, and future. We have all the air signs here. Gemini, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aries, and Aquarius. Okay, so now... Let's do the letters. We're going to do 11 letters for initials. First name, last name. If you get both someone's initial for the first and last name. And they have a middle name. And you get that middle name also. All the better. Past, present, future. Also your own initials. Let's see. We have D, O, T, G, M, F, C, M, D, G, T. Okay, the letters we have here today are D, O, T, G, M, F, C, M, D, G, T. Okay, now we'll do the names. 11 or more names. Let's see what names are. Okay, anybody jumping? Come on, somebody jump. Jump, 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 jump. Okay, if this one jumped, it was Jesse, J E S S Y. Then we have Cat K A T, Grace, Mary, Ben, Janae, J A N A I, Jordan, J O R D A N, Vigio, V I G G O. Shastini, S H A S T I N I, um, Elvira, and then we have Jody and Brian, B R Y A N. Okay, 12 names. All right, guys, now remember these are general readings, they're not personal readings. Please just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. If it does not resonate, check out your other placement. Go ahead, check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign. That might resonate with you more at this time. All right, guys, I love you so much. I appreciate all your likes, your shares, subscribes, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.